What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the people who are afraid of the spot price of silver staying where it's at or getting lower and they get scared and then they sell but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description trying to hit 1,000 subscribers and if you would like to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise. Of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I want to talk about those who get scared of spot price changes or lack of changes, and they go and sell their silver out of fear that it's going to go lower or out of fear that it's not going to go higher, whatever the case may be. They want to cut their losses. They want to do this. They want to do that. That's what I want to talk about today. Now I made a video kind of similar to this maybe nine or ten months back about the spot price significantly dropping. I believe it went into the $14 range and I had started receiving comments from people talking about Oh no! Spot price is going down! This is a bad thing! Failing to realize that the cheaper it gets the more you can get. That's the way I see it in my opinion and from my perspective, not a financial advisor, so nothing on this channel should ever be taken as financial advice. However, I've always felt that the lower spot price gets, the better it is for me. The more I can stock up on or the more I can get for a smaller dollar amount. And the argument always comes up that if spot price drops down a little bit or even if spot price were to drop significantly if spot price were to get chopped in half people make the same argument they make the same foolish claim they make these statements or suggestions or or whatever you want to call it and they say spot price went down therefore you lost money that argument can very easily be debunked simply by saying if you didn't lose your silver, you didn't lose any money. If you have five ounces of silver, let's just say spot price is $20 an ounce, five ounces of silver is about $100 worth of silver. As much as I hate measuring wealth in dollars as opposed to ounces, just for the sake of the conversation. Let's just say spot price gets chopped in half, $20 down to $10. Now those five ounces of silver are worth $50 rather than 100. Did you lose any money? No, your money is sitting right there. Unless you somehow misplaced one of those ounces of silver, you didn't lose any money. It's still all right there. It's still in your possession. It's still right there in front of you. But moving away from that little analogy, I also wanted to bring up the fact that silver, as previously stated, the lower spot price gets, the more you can get, or the more I can get. I say the lower the better. In fact, I would say that the 13 to 15 dollar range is really the sweet spot. Although I would say that anything below 20 dollars is a discount, 13 to 15 dollars that's a complete and total fire sale. The lower the better. Now I have not seen during my little over two years of stacking, I have not seen $12 silver, $11, $10, $9 silver. I haven't seen silver go that low. And if it were to go that low, I'm sure I would be enthusiastic about stacking as much as possible. But I've gotten comments from people saying that silver hasn't done anything in a while. Silver is kind of sitting relatively stagnant. It's not really going up very much and when it does go up a little bit it doesn't stay up for very long comes back down or it goes up a little bit and it stays there relatively stagnant for a while and a lot of people fear as though silver is not going to completely skyrocket one day silver is not going to shoot to the moon as they say silver is not going to go to 25 30 35 40 45 50 dollars again silver's already done it in the past so i don't know why People don't understand that, metaphorically speaking, it happened yesterday, so it could happen again tomorrow. We already know it's possible because it's already happened. 
personally, I have faith in silver. I trust silver. I truly, genuinely, wholeheartedly believe that silver is going to go back to those ridiculously high prices. Ridiculously high for silver, that is. $30, $40, $50. I believe that will happen again. Do I know for a fact? No. I'm not a psychic. But whenever I hear of someone selling their silver, quote-unquote selling their silver, converting their silver back into dollars, out of fear, personally, I've always felt that's a foolish decision. I do not believe in making emotional decisions. If you make a decision based off of fear, that's an emotional decision, not a logical decision. Now, if you have a logical reason for selling your silver, regardless of the spot price, if spot price dropped significantly and you sold for whatever reason, that's fine. But if you sell out of fear, I personally believe that's foolish. But I don't think it's all that terrible of a thing because I was told once in the past that anybody who sells low, that just means the weak ones are being shaken out. Those are the ones who probably shouldn't be in it for the long term anyway because they are short term thinkers, not long term thinkers. Personally, I plan on being in the precious metal world long term. I plan on stacking as much silver as I possibly can long term. One day I hope to own a house and turn a bedroom of the house into a vault. I'm kind of joking when I say that, but point being is I want a ridiculous amount of silver. And when the gold to silver ratio gap closes in, hopefully due to silver going up rather than gold coming down, I would like to convert a decent portion of my silver to gold. Rinse and repeat. Silver goes back down, start getting more silver. Silver goes up, convert the silver into gold. Little by little, reduce the weight, reduce the bulk, and convert the quote-unquote opportunity metal into the quote-unquote powerhouse metal, and who knows what that gold can do for me long, long, long term. Maybe convert those ounces of gold into land, by real estate, by properties. Who knows? But I'm in it for the long term. If you are in it for the long term, let me know in the comments. If you're in it for the short term, maybe let me know why. You only plan on being involved in silver for a short period of time. Maybe you're just stacking silver just to save a little bit of money while you're in college or while you're working a, a, a smaller job, waiting to get a better job or whatever the case may be. Not everyone's stacking for the same reasons. So I don't want to sit here and shame those of you who are specifically in it for the short, short term. We're all in it for different reasons. There's no rule book when it comes to stacking silver. You stack what you want, when you want, as much as you want, when you can, however much you can, or, or as little as you want, or as little as you can, doesn't matter. There's no rules. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to get 1,000 subscribers, so help us out. And if you would like to support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, but we have a ton of other products as well, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, and many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, are you stacking for the short term or are you stacking for the long term? And regardless of how long you plan on being involved with precious metals for, what's your purpose when it comes to stacking? Are you stacking for reasons that I'm stacking for, for the long term, maybe to supplement your retirement, maybe to convert the silver into gold at some point, maybe take that gold and buy land, buy property, buy real estate, do bigger things with, or are you in it for the short term? Maybe you're just saving a little bit of money because you are atrocious when it comes to spending money. Maybe if you had a $5 bill in your pocket, you go crazy until you figure out a way to spend that $5. But it's kind of hard to spend those dollars when you convert them into silver.
Let me know anything and everything in the comment section down below regarding why you're stacking and how long you plan on being involved in stacking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace. Oh no! Spot price is going down! This is a bad thing!